everybody, so we're in No Limits 2 Coastal Simulation. I'll explain to you why we're even in this game in a couple minutes, but I'd like to go over a couple things with you guys. First and foremost, I am back. I am glad to be back. Um, it's been about a month since I uploaded any videos, and there's some very good reasons for that. The first reason was I had a family member in the hospital, um, and I actually still do, unfortunately. So you guys gotta work with me on that. I'll try to give you videos as much as I can. Um, the second reason was I had power on and off in the building that I live in. Um, they're pretty much re, um, doing the whole building. I'm not sure what they were doing with the power, but everything should be back to normal with that. And the third reason was I was waiting for a new microphone. I got the BM800, which you are hearing now. Um, I like it. I worked really hard to try to get this set up with the audio and whatnot, and I feel happy with it. Hopefully you guys do as well. Um... So, the reason why we're even in this game was I'm having issues with the PS4. Um, first and foremost, the mic does not work with the PS4 very well. I don't know what it is. It just sounds really, really bad. Um, it, like, it's like the old mic, pretty much. But it works okay with the PC. Uh, so, I'm not sure what the issue is with that. Also, Rainbow Six Sage got corrupted. I don't know how I got corrupted. One day it was working just fine. And the second, it just decided to stop. I don't know what it is. I've been working really, really hard to try to figure out what's going on with that. So in the meantime, I'm going to go do some tutorials on this game. Um, most of this uh, I have um, learned myself. Uh, there's not very many videos on this game, unfortunately. Um, and it's very, very difficult and in-depth game. So I'm going to go over that with you guys. So I'm going to teach you how to extract files from the Steam Workshop. Um, I will teach you how to um, do the README files which actually come with the game. Um, well, the coasters that actually come with the game. Um, there's a completely different concept when it comes to that, and I'll get into that in a couple minutes. As well as, I'm going to teach you guys the controls and whatnot. Um, when you get an actual gameplay with the coasters and whatnot, um, it may look a little bad. I'm trying to get a graphics card, and hopefully it'll come in about next month or something. So stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, and also, I plan on doing some reaction videos as well as getting my face cam to work. Um, so hopefully I can do that and stay tuned for that, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get this. First and foremost, I'm not responsible for anything that happens. This is only for personal use only. Um, I highly recommend you, you do not repost this on the Steam website with your own uh, personalizations or anything like that. You guys will get in major trouble for that. Like I said, I'm not responsible for that or any damages done to your game. Um, I highly recommend you do not do much with this game, um, especially when it's a good coaster or whatnot. It's just pointless. So let's go and get to this. Um, so this is the Sierra Express. It's found on the Steam um, Workshop only. Um, so as you guys can see, you cannot edit the coaster. Well, you can edit the trees. like You can move the trees around and stuff like that. But you cannot touch the coaster, you cannot put your own properties, you cannot change the color or the coaster. Well, it's the train, not the coaster, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually do that. Um, what you want to do is pick the coaster you want to um, do. And this is only for the Steam Workshop. I'll explain to you the readme files that actually come with the game. Um, there are some completely different concepts when it comes to the readme files. But when it comes to this... Um, what you want to do um, is go into the stock package, um, name it whatever you want. Um, you can name it the exact same thing as it is, um, but it's a little bit confusing if you want to find your customization because it's the name as the same exact files. Um, what you want to do if you find this file, um, what you want to do is um, go into your recents and it's all there. Um, that's the only way you can actually find your um, customizations to this um, coaster. So, I'm just going to name it that, might as well. It's not even a word, but, <laughs> oh well. Um, so, it accepts that. If I have a name as the exact same, f well, it's hard to explain this. Um, if you have a name as the exact same as a different file, it won't accept it. Um, but, in this term, it actually does. So, we're just going to press yes. Wait for the, um... Toaster load in and whatnot. Sorry guys, so I cannot speak very well today. I don't know what it is. Um, I just can't. I do apologize about that. This video is probably going to be completely garbage anyways. 
waiting for this game to load. I don't know what the game loading is about. Um, I don't know if it's your PC or the actual game, but the bigger coaster you have and everything, um, the longer it takes to upload. So just keep that in mind, guys. Especially if you have a low-end PC. Now, I have a gaming PC, but like I said, I'm waiting for a graphics card to come in. Um, so, this may not look the best, but hopefully it turns out to be okay. So, as you guys can see now, I can unfreeze the coaster. Um, this is very good if you want to um, do something like it. Or not sure um, the uh, speed or the customizations that are on this coaster. You can go ahead and unfreeze it, do whatever you want to it. Um, you can even add lights, which I'll explain that in a different episode. Um, there are um, videos about that, but it's um, very, very complex, more than it actually needs to be, to be honest. So, that's um, that's um, pretty much it. I don't see anything that you can actually do with this, um, other than edit it and whatnot. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and freeze this. Um, when you freeze it, it takes a long time for it to upload. It has to re-upload and whatnot, um, which makes sense. Um, because it's just re reloading all the um, supports and the um, railing and whatnot. Um, so waiting for it to load and then we we'll switch over to the actual files that come with the game. And like I said, there's a completely different concept when it comes to that. Um, so I, I will tell you what I mean by that. Come on, let's go. Thank you. See, now you can save it and whatnot, um, stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to save it because I already have a file that I um, have personalizations on. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm just going to select no and exit out. Oh, I'm, you're first to press yes. That's my mistake. Um, so let me get into here real quick. Um, so when it comes to these, um, let me just pick a random one here. I'm just going to pick one that will load faster because this has no scenery to it. Uh, so waiting for this game to load, and I explained to you about the readme files that actually come with the game. Uh, fortunately, the stuff I'm about to show you cannot save. It's only a readme file, so fortunately you cannot extract the package, you cannot save. Um, it's really, really terrible. So any of the customizations you make um, to the coaster or whatnot, it all will be removed um, next time you load the coaster in. So now in, with the readme files, you can unfreeze it, um, do whatever customizations you want to it. Um, I'm not going to do anything with the coaster right now. So if you don't say you do all the customizations you want to the coaster, um, so, when you're done with what you want to do, just go ahead and leave the editor. Do not press that X button. It will not, um, load anything. Um, well, when you press the X button, it automatically closes the park, I should say. Um, so we're going to go ahead and leave there. Um, actually, I should not leave because I'm going to show you the controls, um, to this game. Um, it's not very difficult. Um, there's a list of controls in the settings or the setup. Um, I'm just going to go over with them real quick for you guys. Now, all the controls I'm about to show you are um, just stock controls. None of this is um, set up for my personalization. You can do that, but I, I haven't yet. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. So I have to um, ride the coaster out, unfortunately, and to, so I can exit the coaster. And to exit the coaster when you're in the station is to press E, or to change the camera types is to press E. Um, unfortunately, you cannot leave the coaster um, when it's not in the station. It just doesn't happen, unfortunately. I wish you could, though, make life a lot easier. So let's just ride the coaster.
I'm probably going to cut some of this out and and I'll see you at the station. All right, guys. So we are right at the station. I'm just waiting for the coaster to go into the station. So I'm waiting for the bars to raise up. All right. So now we can exit the coaster. Well, I thought we could. There we go. So it automatically puts you on this side. It doesn't put you on the um, gate side. Uh, which is a good thing because you can't jump in this game, unfortunately. But I've been stuck on this game very much um, in the past. So, the controls. Devil ASD is to move, obviously, if you've ever played a computer game. Um, usually it's the arrow keys or Devil ASD. Um, shift is to move fast, so I press forward, I can press shift, and it goes faster. Um, so, the... Hold on a minute. I'm going way too fast here. Hold on. So, I press F4. It brings up the um, control panel. Um, F5 is a ride list. Now, if you have multiple rides, I suggest you turn off the auto switch to nearest. So, if you want to pick a different ride than what is chosen, if you're near the ride that is actually chosen. Wait, that's confusing. <laughs> Hold on. What I mean is, if you have, like, the cycle, cyclone chosen right now. And you want to move on to a different coaster. If that it's, is enabled the auto switch. Um, you can't. It would just automatically switch you back over the, to the cyclone. Or whatever. I'll explain that in a later, later video. But um, F6 is your um, weather control. F6. No, F7, I'm sorry. Is your view panel? I really wouldn't mess with this. I'm not sure anything on that. Um, on that, so I can accidentally turn on the emergency brakes without pressing. So F8 is your emergency stop. Okay. Um, I didn't know what I pressed there. I didn't know that. Um, so that's good to know. So in order to take control of this coaster, um, you have to switch this to manual. Um, right now it's an audio dispatch, which automatically does it. But in order to do that, you just switch to manual, which I'm going to do now to show you guys the controls. Waiting for the coaster to come in. Now, I don't know anything about these. Um, they're very, very complicated. And um, this is kind of weird. Um, you gotta click. There's no actual keys for this, unfortunately. So, in order to, to switch from here to the actual um, basic, you just press the manual. But I'm not gonna do that. Um, so, you can do anything with this panel. You can click. Um, you can open the harness. We can open the gates. Um, you can close the gates. Close the harnesses. And we can dispatch it by all just clicking. Um, and there's actually designed keys for this. So let's go ahead and dispatch it. Um, so this is all done with the num keys to control the coaster. You don't even need this to pop up um, to control the coaster. Um, so all this is with the num keys as I said. And I'll just repeat myself. So 8 is to open the harnesses. 9 is to uh, open the gates, um, 3 is to close the gates, 2 is to close the harnesses, and 1 and 7 if you have a florist coaster is to control the florist coaster. I'm not sure on the exact keys for that. Um, I'm not, I haven't really dealt with florist coasters so I really don't know about that. Um, so an enter, num enter is to um, send the train or dispatch the train. Um, waiting for the other coaster to arrive. Now, the other coaster is not here yet. It actually depends on the length of your track. Um, but the other coaster is not at the final break. We're almost at the final break. If you dispatch it, it will actually stop on the top of the hill until this train is in the station, which is kind of stupid and weird. But it does does that. You cannot really control that either. At least I think you can. I I don't know. Uh, but it's almost here, so I'm waiting for it to dispatch, or waiting for it to come. I don't know why I just said dispatch. 
Ah, too much shit going on. Alrighty. It's pretty much almost here, so we're clear to dispatch, so I'm just gonna press and enter. And we can go ahead and clear that. So yeah, that's the basic. I will go into more detail in later episodes. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.